Little did Tashi Wangchuk, a Tibetan businessman, know he'd have to spend five years in prison for revealing to the New York Times that Tibetan language education was being repressed in China. His only crime was campaigning for Tibetan language education to prevent eroding of Tibetan culture, which included interviews with the New York Times. Two months after the Times reported his story, Tashi was detained by the Chinese police. Liang Xiaojin, Tashi's lawyer, said he could not be sure that Mr. Tashi was fully free. Released recently from prison in China after spending five long years of sentence in jail on the charges of inciting separatism, Tashi returned to his hometown. Tashi was taught Chinese at school and had to learn his own mother tongue himself with the help of his brother. He owns a store in Yushu where he sold Tibetan products and handicrafts online. Even though uncertainty is the only certainty for the released politically charged convicts, Tibetan rights groups see the release as a relief. After the Chinese government sewed up restrictions on teaching Tibetan in schools, slaying human rights of Tibetans, Tashi spoke up. Over the years, curtailing teaching of the languages of the minorities is a tool used by China to put down minorities. Tashi has also been featured in Alibaba's promotional video, the giant Chinese e-commerce site of Jack Ma. Jack Ma who recently resurfaced after going missing for over three months after CCP's crackdown on his massive firms. As per reports, Chinese courts have tried 11,810 people on charges of separatism or inciting separatism between 1998 and 2016 with only 15 acquittals. With Xi Jinping driven CCP intensifying efforts to dissolve ethnic distinctions, Life for minorities in China is becoming difficult by the second.